Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, you've seen the pictures. This is a hat that's like um, a hat from like Downtown Abbey. It is an old style. We're even going to learn how to do the little rosette. Well, we're not. I'm going to teach you. <laughs> um, this hat is adult size. So, it will fit a head that's between 21 and 23 inches. Um, I am going to not use the same color. I've decided I want to use this ombre stuff. It's super pretty. It's from Red Heart. It's from the ombre collection. And the color is violet. So it calls for a 5.5 but I'm going to use a 5 millimeter. Everything's purple today. So, uh, it does not come in cakes. I make it a cake. If you haven't seen my yarn winder video, go check that out. Um, these hats have not been put on my Etsy store. But, um, I'm sure you can find hats on Etsy. They're not, they're not in my store. I haven't done it yet. Um, I may do it. I may not. Hats don't seem to be that popular on my on my page. I'm just going to turn the brightness up here a little bit. So we are, this is a four weight. It's worsted. So it's probably going to be a little bit bigger than normal, but the hat's still going to be able to fit my head. I My head is um, 21 and a half inches is my head. So um, that hat's a little big on me even though I can wear it doesn't cover my eyes or anything but so I like to just wrap my yarn around these two fingers come across hold it with my pinky I'm gonna go in and grab this piece and I'm gonna pull it under and then I'm gonna turn once it's pulled through I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna grab this guy and I'm gonna pull it through this loop that I just made so that's a chain one. That's a magic ring and a chain one, which generally people use. But I want you to put another chain in there because we're going to be double crocheting this. I want you to put 10 double crochets into this ring. So, sorry if you don't know what a double crochet I mean, you should. If you've clicked on this video to make a hat, you should know what a double crochet is. But, yarn over, go into the ring. Grab some yarn and pull through. You've got three loops on. You're going to pull through and come through two. Or yarn over and come through two. Yarn over and come through two. That's double. So do ten of those. Well, nine more now. So you just want to pull that closed. You're going to come over here and you're going to go to the first stitch and you're going to slip stitch and you're going to chain two. Throughout this project I want you to do a double crochet into your chain two space because that's how we're going to make an invisible seam. Nothing I hate more than a seam. So now you're going to do two single cro or two double crochets in each stitch around. So once you get back around, you're going to slip stitch to that first stitch there. You're going to chain two. 
and you're going to put a double crochet into that chain 2 space. Your next round is going to be one double crochet and an increase. So one double crochet in your first stitch. Your next stitch gets the increase, which is two double crochets in that same space. So repeat this all the way around. One, two, one, two, one, two. And at the end you should have 30 stitches when you're done. We're going to increase by 10 each round. So when you get back around you can slip stitch to the top of that first chain, chain 2, and put your double crochet in there. Your next round is going to be two double crochets and an increase. So that's number 1, that's number 2, and then your increase of two double crochets in the same stitch. And repeat. And at the end of this you should have 40 stitches. So I'm back around again, I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that first chain, or the first stitch you see up there. So that's what you should have so far. If the middle's popping up or it's curling a little bit, don't worry about it. It'll be perfectly fine. And if this is starting to look a little pointy like that, once you wear the hat the first time, that goes away. So you're going to put a double crochet into that same space. And as you can see, so far, there's no seam. Can't see a seam. I know I don't have to show you mine. You can see for yourself. This is where you've been starting. And there's absolutely no seam. So make this a practice. So your next round is going to be three double crochets and an increase. And then at the end of it, you'll have 50 stitches. It's three double crochets and then your next stitch gets the increase. And repeat. So, oh, there we go. It was blurry for a second. So your final increase row is going to be four double crochets and an increase. And at the end of it, you should have 60 stitches. And then for the next nine rows, you're going to do one double crochet in each of those 60 stitches. And I'll meet you right back here. So you're going to chain two, and then in the back loops you're going to half double crochet increase, five half double crochets and an increase, but you're only going to do it in the back loops. So these guys here, you don't have to turn anything, they're all standing up looking at you. So you're going to half double crochet, so yarn over, go into the back loop only, pull through and then pull through all three of those loops. Where double you'd go pull through two, pull through two. That's you're gonna pull through all three of those loops. So we're doing half double, so five half doubles and an increase. So that's one. That's five half doubles.
and then an increase of two half doubles in the same stitch. Back loops only. We're only doing one row of this back loops. We're making the brim. That's what we're doing. So that was five half doubles and then this next one gets two half doubles in the same back loop. So carry on with that and at the end you should have 70 stitches. So once you get back to the beginning, obviously you're going to slip stitch into the top of that first chain. Chain two. So now we're going to do two half double crochets and an increase. So start with your first half double in the same space as your chain two, like we've been doing. So there's two half doubles, oops, two half doubles and then your increase of two half doubles in the same stitch. This tightens everything up. A half double is certainly a lot tighter than a double. So there's two half doubles and then two half doubles in the same space. So at the end of this you should have 94 stitches. All right, once you come back around, you're going to slip stitch to the top of that first chain. You're going to chain two. You're going to put a half double crochet into that same space. We're still trying to have no seam at all. So your next round is going to be four half double crochets and an increase. We're not really keeping an order here. Just because if I if I did, it would be too large. Brims are large back then. They they like to cover the eyes and uh, the complete forehead and and stuff. Unlike some hats today, uh, it was very different back then. You know, you didn't you didn't show your eyes. Certainly when you walked down the street. So, um, so that's four half double crochets, and then your increase of. Four or two half doubles in the same stitch and repeat. So when you're done this you should have 110 stitches. So I'm back around you can kind of see my ombre working out. It's kind of cool. Anyway, I'm going to slip stitch the top of that chain. So your next round is going to be one half double crochet in each stitch around for 110. And then the um, next row after that, so I'm going to put my screen up, and the next row after that is going to be six half double crochets and an increase. If you think that's too going to be too big for your brim, you don't have to do this last one. Um, if you like the brim this size, um, I like a big brim because that's that was the style of the hats. So um, I'll meet you back here after, and then we'll have one more row to do after that, and then we'll fasten off, and then we'll get to the rosette.
Okie dokie, so this is what you should have so far. Great big brim. Now after we do this next row, it's going to curl up a bit, but that's the look that you want. So I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that first chain. I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to put a single crochet into this same space. And I'm going to put one single crochet. You should have about 20, 126 stitches around. So I'm going to put one single crochet in each of these 126 stitches and I will see you on the other side. So once you come back around you can just slip stitch and fasten off. So you don't need a whole huge long piece, you just need enough to uh, weave it in a good amount. I like to weave my my ends in decently because, you know, with washing and stuff like that, I don't like the fact that, you know, the thought that they could come undone, especially if I'm making hats and I'm giving them to people. So I'm just going to weave right down and then across. I'm trying to stay just in the back stitches. I don't want this to show through the front. But I want to go in a couple of different directions to confuse it if it does try to wiggle itself loose. So once you're satisfied with your weaving, pull it out, put it back in a shape, and that is that, is your hat. So let's make the rosette. I'm going to do the rosette out of the same yarn. You can make your rosette out of whatever you want. I just thought that it would be cute to put this on my mannequin. I thought it would be cute to um, make it. So my mannequin only got a 20, move this up. My mannequin is a 20, or a, sorry, a 19 inch head. So it's a little big on her. But it should sit like that, is how it should sit. Anyway, so I don't know if you, you've you been with me to, let me lower this again, been with me to make my roses or not, but I'm going to make this in this kind of, kind of the same way that I made my roses, but bigger, if that makes sense. So you just want to make a slip knot, and you're going to chain 50. So that's my chain, 50. So you're going to have 49 working stitches. You're going to put one single crochet in each of those 49 stitches. Sheesh, it got dark in here. Let's turn this up a bit. It got cloudy outside. So one single crochet in each of these 49 stitches that you can work. Then you're going to chain three and turn. All right, so I've got my 
49 single crochets done. I am going to chain three and I'm going to turn. So I'm going to skip the first two stitches and I'm going to slip stitch into this. So I've created this loop. So I'm going to chain two. I'm going to skip two and I'm going to slip stitch into there. Now I've created that second loop. So let's just continue to repeat this all the way across. Skip two. So, if you can get into your last stitch, it's kind of this turning over thingy. Oh, I'm snagged. There we go. So, instead of chaining two here, you're only going to chain one and turn. So, inside each of these loops that you just made, shove 16 all the way across. In each of these, you're going to do a half double crochet, a double crochet, and a half double crochet. And then right in the middle, You're going to slip stitch and then you're going to do a half double crochet, a double crochet, and a half double crochet. And in the middle, you're going to slip stitch. Then you're in your big loop. <laughs> it's awkward. So essentially you're making these bumps. So continue that all the way across and I'll meet you back here after I fix my camera. Alright so I'm done all my little humps. You can just fasten off with a sewing tail. Turn it around to the back and you are just going to roll. So you can make it as big or as small as you want by how tightly you roll it. So that's my little flower, and I didn't I didn't roll it tight, really at all. Um, so once you roll that into shape, you take your end, and you want to just make a stitch because you want to hold it. Well, I kind of want to hold that shape. So I'm going to go through the entire flower. Because I really want to hold that shape. I'm going to go back through as close as I can to this so it just looks like a stitch. But I'm going to go back through making sure to catch just the tippies 
of the roll here. And I'm going to pop out right next to this because I'm going to use that to my advantage. Now don't pull tight. You just want that to look like a stitch. And just so I don't have to hide this guy, I'm going to make a tight double knot. Don't pull tight on the first one, pull tight on the second one so your knot is so very, 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 very small. Cut this piece off. Keep this piece because you're not done with it. So you just want to, you don't want this sticking up, so just kind of whip stitch this down just to make it look a bit nicer. But you want to keep this down low because you got to sew it on. So once you're happy with how you're, see you can still push this up and down. Once you're happy with the shape of your rosette, you need to sew it on above this line, wherever you want. It just needs to be above that line. So I'm going to go down into the rosette and then into the hat. Sorry. It's so very awkward to sew on camera. I've said that a kajillion times probably. So. I've gone into the rosette, down into the hat. So at this point you can sew from the bottom. So you can go into the rosette from underneath. Make your stitches. That would be my suggestion as opposed to sewing around the top. You've got this whole area that can get worked. You can go down into your flower and up. And you can make your knots at the back if you want to make it all nice and snug. I'm just going to go around the outside of my flower because I don't want it to be droopy. I'm not really pulling tight. I'm pulling snug. So I'm going to do another knot. So wiggle that back and forth to tighten your knot. And then you can either leave it or weave. Just going to weave a bit back and forth through here. I'm not going to feel it at all. There we go. And then my little rosette on the hat. Pretty. Thanks for joining me guys. I'll see you in the next video.